Hello everybody, Math Fairy here, coming at you with some geometry. And we're going to look at one specific type of polygon. And these polygons are known as, are you ready for it? Are you ready? Because it's one of my favorite songs with a beat like this. One, two, three, four, I'm a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four, I'm a quadrilateral. Yeah! Quadrilateral. Why would I go one, two, three, four? I'm a quadrilateral. Why? Because a quadrilateral has four sides. And I want to show you that when I was going around Gunnison just yesterday, I noticed some quadrilaterals. And I'm asking you today to figure out what type of quadrilaterals are these. Okay, so let's see what we got. So I had this picture that I took that was, here's the skate park, we were at the skate park and there's lots of fencing. And so inside this fence, my gosh, there's quadrilaterals and they're repeating themselves all over the place. In math, that's called a tessellation. So they're tessellating all over. So the question is, what type of quadrilateral is this? You see it? Hmm. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, we have more tessellating quadrilaterals on the picnic table. I'm like, ooh, are these the same quadrilaterals? So let's go ahead and take a look at some quadrilaterals on this awesome site that I like called, has a great name, Math is Fun. That's the name of the site. And on that site, you can manipulate some quadrilaterals. So here are some names of quadrilaterals. Try them with me. We have parallelogram. Is a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four. I'm a quadrilateral parallelogram. We have a square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, and kite. Whoa. Now, we're not just going to look at any. We're going to look first at this guy, a square. And we're going to manipulate this square. So I want you to notice when I take one of the four corners, one of the four vertices, and I move it around. No matter where I move it, it's staying a square. It is staying a square. Okay, so we have our square. Now let's look at the angles are all right. They're all right in a square. Now what does that mean? They're all 90 degrees. So if I check it out, they're all 90 degrees. And all the sides, in this case, it says the length of this side is a 170. The length of this side, 170. The length of this side, 170. The length of that side, 170. What happens when I move it and I stop here? Ooh, what happened? What changed? Well, the angles are still all right. But the sides, they change numbers. But the numbers are still all the same. What if I go way out here? Huh. The angles are still all right. And the sides are all the same. What if I rotate it and I go like that, straight up and down? Angles are still all right. And the sides are still all the same. Okay, now we're going to take a look at another type of quadrilateral. And that is a rhombus. Okay, so let's take a look and see what happens with the rhombus. What the heck? I clicked on rhombus. Do you notice? It's, is it still a square? Well, let's check. Angles are all right, and the sides are all the same. What? So a square is considered a rhombus. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Is the same thing going to happen? Here I go. What? What? Oh, what? What is happening here? Whoa, whoa. Do you guys see something there? Do you guys see something happening? What is happening? I moved it and whoa, look at that. The sides are definitely not right anymore. Not right. But what happened with the sides? The sides stayed the same. Let's see what happens over here. Okay, whoa, I can make it like 
that way. Sides are still all the same, but the angles are not right. Well, they're not 90 degrees. So opposite angles are the same, though. Opposite angles definitely stay the same. 42, 42, 138, 138. What if I move this guy? We already checked that, like right there. Opposite angles, same. Opposite angles, same. Sides are the same. Huh. So a rhombus, all the sides need to be the same. But do the angles have to be right? No, they don't. So let's check out those pictures again that I saw in Gunnison here. Now these quadrilaterals, what are they? So in this one, if I'm looking at a fence, this quadrilateral here is what? Is it a square or is it a rhombus? Some of you might say diamond. Well, the angles are all right. And the sides are all the same. So we could call that a rhombus. Or we could call it, more specifically, a square. Now how about over here? If I go over to the picnic table where my daughter was sitting, I would say, what type of quadrilateral do we have going on here? Do we have squares again? What do you think? Taking a look here, I'm making it bigger. Look at those. What do you think in there? Do those look like squares or do they look like rhombus? Are all the sides the same? Well, all the sides look to be the same length. Are all the angles right? Are they all 90 degrees? No. So we cannot call this one rhombi or rhombus. That's plural for rhombus. Uh, we can't call this one a rhombus and a square. We could only call this one. That's your drum roll. What can we call this one? A rhombus. These are tessellating rhombi because all the angles aren't right, meaning 90 degrees. So check around, check yourself around Gunnison and around other places. And notice what kind of quadrilaterals are you seeing? And try and be super specific. All right, have fun. And remember, one, two, three, four, I'm seeing quadrilaterals.